Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Hailey Chen, and welcome to the AAPI 124 course. Um, it's an online course, but I still want to get to know more about you and also hope that you can get to know more about me after the course as well. Uh, so uh, as you know, or as you may know, um, this is the very first AAPI studies course at San Diego Community College District. And I'm so proud that um, we have it at Mesa College. And uh, I am the instructor for the course. Um, I graduated from uh, a university in Vietnam, the Vietnam National University. And I got my master degree in American studies from Heidelberg University in Germany. And then I came to the United States for my PhD and I got my doctoral degree in uh, American cultural studies at Bowling Green State University. And now um, I'm very glad to work at Mesa College. Uh, I worked as a lecturer at UCSD, teaching uh, different ethnic studies courses uh, like uh, discourse power and inequality, law and civil rights, and also uh, different Asian American studies courses like um, America, Asian American culture and identity, Asian American politics, comparative uh, Filipino and Vietnamese Americans and communities as well. Um, and um, I'm very glad to be the instructor for the AAPI 124 Introduction to Asian Amen, American and Pacific Islander Studies. And uh, for this course, I created uh, the syllabus and syllabus and posted it uh, on Canvas. And it is very important that you read the syllabus and understand the assignments that you have to do, the deadlines, and um, also um, I will post the reading materials and I, I will give more detailed instructions for the materials and also for the assignments for every week. But every week you will have to participate in the online discussions and uh, there will be two questions prompts. The first one will be posted uh, on Monday by 10 a.m. And um, the first um, discussion thread, the response to the first question prompt uh, on Monday, um, it will be due on Wednesday and uh, at midnight. And the second question prompt will be uh, created on Thursday, also by 10 a.m. And you will have to uh, respond to the question prompt uh, by midnight on Sunday. And uh, for the first quick, um, I want to post a little bit the video, um, yeah, as I'm doing now, and uh, I will give you a very brief lecture of what is important for this week. So I want to share my slides and um, we'll also be able to see the slides in Canvas as well. Canvas, let me see, share screen. Yeah, so if you uh, take my in-person class, you will also see the slides as well, and you will be able to have the discussions about uh, why you're taking this AAPI 124 course and any expectations for the course. But we have already got uh, the online discussion thread for you to answer these questions. And then I have several quizzes for you as well. Um, for example, how many countries are there in Asia? And um, you can see that there's a lot of countries, right? 48. And also the population of Asian continent is very big as well. Uh, there are 4.46 billion people, about 60% of the world's population and Asian people. Uh, speak a lot of languages that include official languages and also the um, languages of ethnic minorities and the languages um, 
there are about 2,300 languages um, that are spoken in Asia. So you can see that um, there's a lot of Asian countries with a lot of people speaking different languages, having different cultural practices and traditions. And we all group them in one group like Asia. And um, we also talk about the concept of Asian Americans as well. And you can see that people usually think all people coming from Asia when they are in the United States um, getting naturalized, become Americans, uh, and also their children, their grandchildren, their great-great-grandchildren, they won't be considered Asian Americans. But actually, according to the U.S. census, the people or a person of the Asian race uh, is the one who has origins in any of the original peoples from the Far East, the Southeast Asia, the Indian subcontinent. So if you can see from the map, we have Far East as East Asian countries. Uh, for example, we have China, Mongolia, North Korea, South Korea, Japan, Hong Kong, Taiwan, and Macau. We also have Southeast Asia as well. And uh, for example, we have Brunei, Cambodia, Laos, uh, Philippines, Thailand, and Vietnam. And we have South Asia, uh, Bangladesh, India, Sri Lanka, Afghanistan, Pakistan, Bhutan, Nepal, and Maldives. They are also considered Asian Americans if they move to the United States. And they are the children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren here. How about the AAPI identity? We have Asian American and we also have Asian American and Pacific Islander identity. And um, we can see that Asian Americans has already been a very big and diverse group. Now we also have Pacific Islanders that include about 25,000 islands from the Pacific Ocean. And um, that is also a very big and diverse grouping and categorization of race. And actually, uh, this group of identity, AAPI, was created by the US Census because at that time, uh, Pacific Islanders uh, was a very small group in the United States and um, the US Census, they want to make it convenient for them to collect data about Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders. So they put this group together in order to create the category of Asian Pacific Islanders. And um, yeah, so now um, that's a big group and people usually complain that um, the two groups, Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders, they are very different and they have very different issues. They need very different support from the US government and they shouldn't be lumped together. So by 1997, the United States changed back to allow different categories for Asian and Native Hawaiian and other Pacific Islanders group. However, until now, we still see a lot of organizations and institutions still use Asian American and Pacific Islander um, as one group. And uh, for example, you can see from the slide, we have May as an Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month. But what is the problem with this category? If you have time, please watch YouTube and the link I put on the slide so that you understand more about the term and the issues with the term and uh, the origin of the terms and its significance and things like that. Yeah, but we can see that the Asian American and Pacific Islander group is very large, right? And it's 
broad and ambiguous, and it hides the diverse and unequal identity with within the Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders. Because when talking about this group, people usually only pay attention to Asian Americans and particularly to East Asians and the problems, the issues, the struggles of other groups of Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders are usually overlooked. So yeah, it creates the inequality within this group as well. And for Pacific Islanders, if you look at the map here, you can see they include a lot of ethnic groups. Um, yeah, and um, as I said before, um, there are about 25,000 islands and people have different cultural practices, different traditions and languages, ways of life, and um, yeah, but um, they are categorized into major sub-regions, for example, Micronesia, Melanesia, Polynesia, and uh, we'll talk more about these groups and these regions later in uh, the course. Yeah, but for Pacific Islanders, um, the community face significant health and social economic disparities compared to other groups. And um, they also have like poverty, high of poverty rates and um, health outcomes. And they usually fall behind white Americans and Asian Americans. So um, it is important to understand that there's a big diversity between Asian Americans and also Asian American and Pacific Islanders. Yeah, so we will have a question discussion um, in the question prompts. Uh, we'll discuss more about that. Yeah, but I hope that you can think more about what does it mean to be an Asian American and Pacific Islander when you think about the creation of the identity, uh, the groupings, um, why it hides some of the inequalities within the group, but also why it is also important. And um, yeah, and also talking about uh, what issues that Asian American and our Pacific Islanders face as well. We'll talk more about that. Uh, yeah, and I also have the links here on the slide uh, so that if you have time, you can watch the short videos about the struggles of being an Asian American and also, um, yeah, the challenge for Asian American to fit in within American society. And yeah, we'll talk more about stereotypes of Asians, but mostly is Asians in the United States. Yeah, but you can see that they are considered the yellow peril or they are considered the perpetual foreigner and um, the women usually suffer from the stereotype of being uh, submissive and attractive, but still dangerous, rude, and immoral. And we have the moral minority myth, uh, the stereotype that a lot of Asian Americans now are struggling with. And we also have the Stereotype for Asian American male as undesirable, emasculated. And um, we'll talk more about what is Asian American and Pacific Islander studies and why is AAPI studies important uh, in our discussion on Thursday. And um, I hope that you understand more about the term Asian American studies and um, Asian American and Pacific Islanders. And um, we will have further discussion relating to the significance of the term and also the uh, some of the shortcomings of using the term, some of the stereotypes that it create and why Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders studies are very important for us.
particularly for Asian American communities. And um, thank you.